Yo, what's going on, True Fam? Welcome back to the channel. It's White Shadow, and today, guys, we're gonna be taking a look at a special piece of streaming software that I have been personally using for quite some time. So let's go ahead and jump into it. So today, guys, the streaming software that we're gonna be taking a look at is Streamlabs OBS, and it's one of my personal favorite streaming softwares on the market because it is so easy for beginners to get into. We will be doing another video on just OBS, but I specifically wanted to go over Streamlabs OBS because I love this software. and It's very intuitive and it's a great start for people that just wanna get into streaming. So let's go ahead and check out the features and everything that Streamlabs OBS has with it. All right, so I've gone ahead and switched over to kind of the general look of Streamlabs OBS here. So this is my overlay that I have set up. And I mean, you can see there's a lot of working parts to it. Your overlay starting out probably won't look something like this, but that's not to say that you can't get something like that. So one of the best features of Streamlabs OBS, in my opinion, for starters, is the fact that you can have themes. So we're gonna go to the themes tab here and I'm gonna show you guys like literally everything they have. So the theme I'm using on my personal channel is by Nerd or Die. They have actually partnered with Streamlabs to provide stuff for Streamlabs OBS. And as you can see, there are a ton of other designs that you can find. You can fi literally find anything by color. So if you like, like me, I like the color sign. So boom. I can find all of these, but you can get all sorts of stuff. So this is a nice clean overlay that you can use. It may have some static designs or things of that sort. You can go back to this. You can find stuff by animated. So if you want an animated overlay, you can find all of these literally hundreds and hundreds and hundreds. There's 18 pages of these. I'm not gonna go through them all, but it's just a really nice way to get your stream looking pretty good for the most part. And they have different elements and things of that sort. And all of this is baked right into the software. So that's a good starting point for all of you starters out there. You can even go by rainbow. If you like rainbow stuff, rainbow animation, like this one. If you wanna go crazy, you can do it. See, that's nice. So let's hop back over to the editor here because this is the main place that you're going to really get started with all of your setup. Streamlabs OBS it makes it easy for different profiles and things of that sort. So here you have all of these different profiles. So when you get your theme set up and ready to go, you find the theme that you like, it's going to put it here. In the, uh, the little presets that you have, mine is called Uplink Preset because the overlay that I'm using is from Nerd or Die and it is called the Uplink Overlay. And I've kind of changed the colors and everything that you, and you can do all of that on Streamlabs. I'll show you that in just a second. But this is where your overlay is going to pop up. So it's underneath here, you pick one of these guys and boom, you, you stream, you get ready to stream. You're not done yet. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the settings option. So settings option here for Streamlabs OBS is going to be somewhat similar to OBS itself. They've really kind of partnered with OBS to kind of create this. So you have your general tab. This is kind of the same as OBS. And this is stuff that we've gone through before. So if you want to know your settings, check out my other video for like audio settings and things of that sort for OBS. All of that still applies here. Stream, still the same. Now the cool thing about this is you can actually have it auto detect the best server that you um, want, but there's other ways to do that. And I'll probably go over that in another video, but Streamlabs OBS has that baked in to where it will find the best possible server for your connection type. So that's a really cool option. And it's got, you can pick custom streaming servers and all of that stuff. The output tab in the settings is going to be generally the same. This is kind of the settings I use. I have a gig internet up and down, so I use a higher bit rate. Um, it's, but it's still all the same. I've got a nice CPU, so I can use the faster, pre I can probably use fast, but I don't want to. But um, it's still got all of that fun stuff. Same goes for recording. They kind of roll this all into one tab, but you can kind of collapse all of these, which is nice which I didn't do, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. But same stuff as OBS, same for audio, same for video, so your video feed, that's all the same. Your hotkeys, you can do hotkeys here, which is nice. You can do advanced, so all of your advanced stuff, it doesn't really matter like what, with all of this stuff, you can play around with it. Scene selection, this is a cool one. Um, so you can actually import 
your own collections and you can export your overlay overlay files and stuff and make a backup of it uh, you can import like new widget scenes and things of that sort so that's new to obs you can't i don't think you can do that in um original obs you can actually have notifications pop up uh, you can change the appearance, so always click night mode so you don't kill your eyes. This is what it looks like without it. But you can you can do so many different things with it. Oh, and here's another cool thing. So on your phone, on your phone here, you can actually have it set up to be like a remote. So if you don't have a stream deck or something of that sort, you can control all of your different scenes and stuff right there with your phone. And it's a really nice option. So you download the Streamlabs OBS app on your Android or iOS device, go into the app, and then you go into the settings on the app, and it'll say remote. Click the remote, it'll ask you to scan that QR code right there, and boom, bibbity bop, you can control Streamlabs OBS with your phone. It makes it really nice for when you gotta get up and go get a drink, or if you need to go to the bathroom and you forgot, like, oh, I didn't put my BRB screen up, do it now. So now that we've got, kind of gone over the settings and everything, I'm not gonna get too in depth with the overlay, but another cool feature of this is you have, of course, the mixer here, and um, they really lay everything out for you. So I'm just gonna show you what it looks like to add like a source or a scene or something like that. The great thing about this being Streamlabs operated is that you have all of your standard widgets, of course. This is the same as it would be for OBS, but you also have an additional thing, and this is straight from Streamlabs OBS itself. So you have all of your widgets here, and you have like, so your alert box, viewer count, stream boss, bit goal, sponsor banner, credits, donation goal, all of this stuff is baked right into Streamlabs OBS. So you no longer have to add everything as a browser source and find the link, go and copy and paste it, make sure everything works. No, you have all of that right here. And the best part about having your alert box and all of that stuff baked right in is you can go down here to the bottom and test your widget to see if they are working. My follow alert, boom, Deadpool dancing on a pole, baby. That's right. Another great feature is it's got chat. So all of your chat is ready to roll right here. And this is straight from the Twitch API. So really you don't even need to run Twitch via your internet browser, but it doesn't always update immediately. I would keep in mind this still is a beta software. So I don't really ever use the chat right now. Uh, in the future, I will start using the chat more because coming soon, the chatbot is going to be baked right into the software, which is nice. Okay, so another great feature. We talked about testing the widgets and kind of the widgets that are baked right in. Another great feature is you have your dashboard. So your entire Streamlabs dashboard is set up right here. Everything from your merch store to your actual dashboard that shows you all of your statistics and everything, your donations, your subscribers. You can have shared access, your donation settings, integrations. So like if you have something for Extra Life, Filtify, Patreon, Razor Chroma, you can even, I don't know if you guys knew this or not, but Razor Chroma, you can have their LED strips and their peripherals, all of that fun stuff go off as I know when notifications come through, which is really nice. Discord to be stream, all of that stuff right here listed. You can even access your widget themes. So you can save literally any widget theme that you want. Also your scene collections are here too. So Going back to those themes that you have, the, that will go in your scene collections here. So you can actually make one of those the Twitch default. Another fun feature is you can get face masks and this is for your camera. So fun little, it's, it's a cool little feature, um, especially with Halloween coming up, you can do that and not even have to wear a mask, but you can do all sorts of different stuff. So see, there's like dude on a head, on their head. Um, you've got the pirate hat, you've got T like a TV screen and it works really well. Uh, another great thing that I love about this is the widget, like you have your alert box right here. So if there's something that you want to edit, something new that you want to put in, I don't have to go to the website anymore. You have your event list. I use a custom CSS version of event list and that you can do all of that right in the app and save it right here. And um, like I was talking about how you guys change the color, you just go over to custom fields, and you change your color there. It really, it really is a great piece of software. You've got your jar, you've got your stream labels, you've got your chat box, you've got viewer accounts, spin wheel, all of that stuff. And it's a great little feature baked into an already good software that we as streamers have using. This is more of a quality of life. If you're currently on OBS, you can actually use the OBS importer and it will take everything from OBS, which is what I'm using to record this right now, from OBS and put it here 
in its own little preset. So you will still have like all of your presets here. And it's a very, very nice option because it copies your settings, it copies your profile, all of your scenes, all of your images and stuff, stuff that you already have set up. So it makes the transition pretty flawless because this is still built off of the OBS source code. And it's a very, very, very easy process. I did it when it first came out. I've been, I was uh, kind of beta testing before this even became public and it, the feature has always worked flawlessly. They did a very good job on this. I use this literally every day. Some people might have issues with it. Um, there have been bugs. It, it's going to affect everybody differently, but I would say try it out. Just try it out and see how you guys feel about it. I personally think it's great for starters and it really makes streaming a little bit easier because of all of these quality of life improvements. And it's already better in my opinion than OBS. And although OBS is more stable, all of the features outweigh everything OBS does because OBS, you do need, it has a learning curve to it. This kind of takes that learning curve and dumbs it down a bit, which I like because if I had this when I first started streaming, I would have immediately been into it. For everybody out there that is looking to get into streaming or doesn't really understand OBS to a full extent, definitely check out SLOBS or Slobs. I hate calling it Slobs. I have no idea why. Literally everything at your disposable and uh, it's awesome. You have so many things you can do. So guys, that about does it for this video. Um, if you guys like Streamlabs OBS as much as I do, definitely check them out. I'll leave a link in the description below on how you can find Streamlabs OBS. But if you guys like this video, be sure to give me that thumbs up and hit the subscribe button before you leave. I would super appreciate it. But guys, if you want to come hang out with us on stream or in Discord or on one of our social medias and just kind of hang out and talk, have a chat about tech and all of that fun stuff and streaming. I love talking about streaming. Follow me on one of my social medias. Those are linked down below. If you want to come and hang out with True Gaming, which is the people that I do these freaking sweet videos for, come hang out with us on Discord or and definitely check them out on all of their social media. We got some fun stuff in the works and you should definitely hang around the social media because that's where you're going to hear the announcements. But guys, like I said, that about does it for this video. Thank you guys so much for checking it out. Hope you guys like the review of Streamlabs OBS or the overview, I should say, of Streamlabs OBS. And I hope this helps some of you find a good streaming software to use while starting out. But guys, I'll catch you in the next video. Why shadow out.